All right, welcome to the afternoon. Welcome to everybody out there live uh, in the world. And uh, good to be here. Uh, you know, I've been in emergency management since 1999, and I always depended on CNN. I don't have to depend on them anymore to get my news. In fact, I can beat them now, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So uh, thanks to the world of social media and everybody uh, paying attention to what's going on or being interested. Uh, I wasn't here this morning uh, to see what uh, Administrator Fugate said, but uh, one of the things that uh, you may have heard or hopefully have heard from FEMA is we talk about uh, you know, the emergency management community being a team. Well, we're not the team, we're part of the team. And, with the use of social media, which we fully embraced, uh, you know, the team has just become the entire planet. Uh, we can get the information out there and, and work together, uh, help first responders, help emergency managers, and uh, the more information, the better. Uh, you know, it's something that we use and uh, it's something that's of value and provides real-time information that we can uh, action to take care of survivors of disasters and things that may happen. And uh, it helps with sit situational awareness and uh, wonderful to be able to get the photos and the information from the people that uh, are interested in providing information or need the help. Uh, many examples I'm sure that you're aware of across the nation and around the planet uh, on how that's been used. Uh, Hopefully you're aware FEMA, you know, the administrator is uh, very supportive of social media. We use it all the time. And if you look at our different pages, our blogs and things, you know, we clearly uh, spotlight on Facebook uh, different uh, events that are taking place from uh, the states, the different disasters, uh, quite a bit of information out there right now and all the disasters going on in the Gulf Coast and the Midwest with the flooding and the tornadoes. And uh, we highlight, uh, you know, the processes and the things that FEMA is doing in those areas. And that keeps uh, a good number of people informed, uh, you know, as to, to what is happening. Twitter, uh, we always, we have national accounts, regional accounts. We have one in FEMA Region 10 that we use a lot. Uh, we provide uh, a lot of safety information and preparedness information that we can get out there on disasters. And then when we do have disasters, uh, of any size or nature, you know, we'll provide information on that. And we're starting to put some stuff out now. We've got flooding in all four states of Alaska, Oregon, Washington, and Idaho. And uh, so we keep a close eye on that. YouTube channel, uh, use that a lot, uh, you know, to put out videos of survivor stories about how they were prepared. What did they do to survive a disaster, no matter what it was, you know, terrorism or natural. Uh, the different things like that that we can publish so people can see real live stories and applications of how it might uh, fit in their life and in their community. And then, of course, uh, highlighting FEMA programs, you know, to keep providing that education to people on how things work. Uh, a lot on the blog. Uh, I know Administrator Fugate spends quite a bit of time on that, putting out uh, information and proposals and ideas, you know, to give input from around the planet. Uh, we do a lot of uh, the social media with the other countries that have had disasters and, you know, where we can share ideas and best practices and get opinions. Photo stories, uh, share a lot of that. Uh, pictures uh, mean a lot to people, uh, show them uh, the reality of our planet and then even in our local communities, uh, you know, uh, maybe what's down the block that you've never seen that you might see on a photo library of disasters and events. Uh, just, uh, I don't know if Administrator Fugate has mentioned this morning and just rolled out here a couple of weeks ago with the City of New York and Mayor Bloomberg, uh, the personalized lo uh, localized alerting network done through the major wireless carriers and we'll be moving it across the country where you can get alerts personalized to you if you choose to accept it and it's segregated out in the network where it'll be able to go uh, even if the network is busy and it'll give you geographical alerts so it won't bother you if you're not in the area but if something happens in your area you'll get a localized alert of what's happening where it's happening at and instructions what to do to protect yourself so you'll uh, see that it's geo targeted and uh, i think that'll be a big tool for people and uh, we used that a little bit uh, during the tsunami that hit the west coast. I know in Oregon we uh, geo-targeted through the state parks uh, people that were camping and on the beach uh, through Twitter uh, because they're not there. 
So, you're in the future, move forward. <laughs>